man, being sick is terrible because then you all coughing on a video and you just like, I don't want to do this. So I can't record videos when I'm sick. Finally, I'm healthy, though, so we can make more videos. That's happy news. Anyways, we're going to go to Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, it's a map that is, well, it's a real racetrack that somebody duplicated into, be, into our factor, made it by hand, just looking at photographs for reference and such, I would assume. So they made that for our factor, and then somebody else took that map and ported it over to VMNG. So that's what we have here. And unfortunately, it's not a well-optimized map. The FPS are really low, and it's really laggy, and that's not my computer. I mean, it is. If you have, like, a supercomputer, then fine. Yeah, it'll run smooth, but I just have an average gaming computer. You know, so it... It works okay in some points, but then other times it really is, uh, it's rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a slow kind of cruising lap for this thing, because if you go too fast with low FPS, your sense of speed gets all screwed up, and you'll just crash into a wall really badly, and I don't want that. So look at those floating lights, and then here we go. So we're just going to, like, do a nice easy lap, hopefully not crash, but knowing me, I will find a way to crash, you know. I, I'm just that amazing. I find ways to crash. If there's even nothing to crash into, I find a way to crash. It's quite amazing, actually. I mean, at least if I'm going slow, you can kind of look around at the scenery and such. And be like, hey, look at that building. Yeah, that's a building. Like, hey, look at that sign. Uh, I believe the signage was from uh, the 2000, when the track was used in 2013. So all the signs you see are what were there last year from the time of recording this video, but that may have been just the last time it was used. I don't actually know when that would I, I think that's probably true but I'm not 100% on that but I'm pretty sure about that anyways point is whenever this was raced on in 2013 these are the signs that were there and, you know they'll probably change sometime assuming they would who knows when but eventually yeah I'm just gonna do a nice drive around this it's, uh, let's see. what do I know about uh, uh, the Monaco Grand Prix circuit not much. Oh, goodness. I think I braked so hard I broke my wheel. I did. Look at that. That wheel, that wasn't because I hit the wall. I promise you. I braked so hard I broke it right there. That was unexpected. I could have made that churn if my wheel didn't break. Oh, man. I told you I'd find a way to crash. I told you. Oh, but anyways. Uh, so, what do I know about Monaco Circuit? All I know really is that it's in San, um, Monte Carlo. That's really all I know about it. And they use it for like F1. And I've played it in other video games. I played it in, uh, I think it was Gran Turismo 4. I don't know if it was in 5 or 6. I can't recall. I know it was in 4 because there was a part in the map where you could smash into the corner in a very specific angle and you could escape out of the map and then you could just drive wherever you wanted in the map and that was kind of the weird thing you could do and it was always like, oh, I broke Gran Turismo, look at me, I'm driving with the boats and it's weird stuff. Uh, I'm assuming it was in the later games, but I don't remember ever driving on it, which is weird. I didn't play 5 much because I got it a month before 6 came out. And 6, I played it a decent amount. I don't remember that snap. I don't know. Talking about other games, though. Irrelevant. Forza doesn't have it as far as I know. Our factor has it, obviously. And if you're an asshole, you just, I don't need no churns. Or, if you're a real good racer, you actually do the churn. You can tell which one I am. I'm not a real good racer. I'm like, I'm gonna win! Screw you! I'm gonna win! And hopefully I win. Yeah, so here's a little rough spot for FPS. I know it's a lot of uh, weird, like, texture clipping. Like you look at that sign, you see it's like. Let's see if you see it. Yeah, you don't see it. I was gonna say, look at that sign right there. It's when they're farther away, like look up in front of us. Do you see how it's like flashing? The signs right there, straight ahead, or the vehicle, whatever it is. The red's flashing. I don't know. Kind of weird. Nailed it. Oh, perfect turn. A plus. Churn this car. Churn. C-H-U-R-N. Definition. 
something to do with making butter. Do I care? No, that's how I pronounce it, dang it. I don't know why. It's just the way I am. Alright, so that's a lap, I think. Well, let's, uh, let's finish it with a bang. It's hard to control the car when you have low FPS, but we can control it enough to crash it. Oh! Look at that. That's wrecked. Oh, it still wants to drive. Such dedication. Good car. Alright, we'll do a lap in reverse too, because why not? And then we'll drive around outside the map. There's actually not much interesting there because most of the things you can drive through, because they're not. They don't have like the collision mapping or whatever is required to uh, make them uh, usable objects. You just drive straight through them. So that's no fun. Uh, the cars you see around the map are usually you can crash into. Just the buildings. And like some of the billboards you can crash into, but some you can't, it seems like. I think it is. Uh, I think actually most billboards you can crash into now that I think about it. See, if my wheels don't break, I can make the turn. Ooh, what's over here? That's the pits. Oh, duh. It's all disorienting going backwards. Alright. So, again, you can just see the map from a different angle, you know, kind of just look at the scenery and stuff. See how it compares to, you know, other times you've seen the track and such. And I don't know. Uh, it's a racetrack, you know, it's not made for crashing things. So it's like, do the racetrack, do it forward and then reverse. I don't know if they actually ever officially race on it in a reverse style. You know, I know some tracks, they don't really do that like safety reasons with the way the turns line up. At least I think that's the case. I'm not 100% on that. But, I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. We're just gonna grab it. We're gonna do this legit. We're going legit here. Oh, goodness. I broke the wheel again. It wasn't turning. It wasn't turning in. It was broken. How did that happen? See, like right now I'm turning left. I'm not turning at all right now, okay? How about this? I'm not turning at all. Yeah, you can see that's broken. But it was before I crashed. I promise. I thought it was, at least. I mean, I was turning, but nothing was happening. I mean, I'll try to do it intentionally next time I see some possibility to do it. Because now I'm curious if I actually it was me or if I'm just crazy. Basically, just slam on the brakes. <laughs> Eh, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. It feels like I just lose grip. And not like a, uh, you're going to drift kind of lose grip. It's like a, where is the grip kind of thing. No, it, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. you got to find like a place that dips a little, maybe. I don't know. That did it. No, it didn't. It didn't break it, did it? I don't know. Did it? It's... Something's broken. The front end is way too bouncy. I'll tell you that much right now. And this is turning left, hold left. So something's definitely broken because we can't turn left again. Yeah. See, if only this was a uh, reverse on a NAS... We can't turn left or right. Who am I kidding? Shoot. I was going to say, if only this was a reverse on a NASCAR circuit. But even then, you'd be, you'd be, you're going to crash. Alright, here we go. I saw a thing from Shell a while ago. Screw them, they wouldn't hire me. And if they end up hiring me on the next one, I'm sorry I ever said that. I'm trying to get a job. It sucks. Ain't nobody want to hire somebody like me. Like, what's your experience, man? I don't know. I ain't do nothing in my life. Just give me a job. Let me run your prior to me. I promise it won't blow up much. That's not going well. Yeah. Who knows? I'll get a job someday. Probably. I'll just get homeless soon enough because I'm running out of money. I live on the streets, but I have a laptop and I'll still record videos for you guys. I got that dedication. Don't worry. 
All right, we're going fast here. I hit the... Oh, goodness, my, my wheels good? They're good, okay. Did that break them, then? Or did that break either of them? I'm still curious if I could break, break them under hard braking, or if that was just me being crazy. Anyways, this is a lap. Hard braking plus bump. Eh, seems fine. Whatever. Anyways, we could actually get out the map right here, so I'm not going to finish the uh, full circuit. But this is the straightaway, so you didn't miss anything. I actually turned around right there, so it's actually all good. And to get through here, I'm going to put in the manual and just power. Ah. Okay. Same plan, better execution. Nope. I mean, I could just cheat out of it, but that's no fun. Because I know you could actually get out of it. There we are. Took a little bit of squeezing and stuff, but we're out. So, here's how you can tell you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, you just drive straight through these buildings. Oh, oh, but you can't drive through that. That wrecks you. We'll just plop ourselves over here by the buildings. That probably breaks the suspension all up by the like that. Like that. And most of the things over here you can't crash into. There's that wall you can, oddly enough. The buildings, no problem. Go straight through all of them. So, most of them don't have like any, like none of them have an like, actual interior, but most of them. I should, uh, let me say that again. Most of them have nothing inside of them but themselves. Some of them are just a two-dimensional facade. They're all fake. However, you can always crash into the vehicles you see. Always. At least as far as I've seen. And you can get stuck on them and reset your vehicle. Awesome. Crash into those ones right here. Yep, no problem. Crash into that. Ooh, that's an interesting crash. No problem, though. And there's some more odder things you can... <laughs> the guy left the car. It's just bump, bump, bump. Uh, anyways, there's some more odder things you can crash into. One of the fun ones, though, is just going above the crane. And just dropping the car. Ah, that wasn't high enough. We need ten times this height. There we go. Now it's fun. I mean, it's beam and G. you got to have a little bit of crashing. Look at that. Oh, I should have slow mo that, actually. Slow mo it better. And slow mo. Takes a minute for the slow mo to work when you have slow FPS. Ooh, that looked like crap. Because the car just went straight through the pole. Oh well. Wrecked it though. It's broken. So you could hit those. Those are like, I don't know how you'd ever actually hit them, like in real life, but you can get to them somehow. You could drop your car on this stuff. I think it hits that vehicle. Whoops, did it? I don't know. I hit the wrong thing. That vehicle it goes through. Okay. Huh. I didn't see that before. All the other vehicles I've tried, it hits. Ah, I must have not tried these vehicles. It's really random. I don't know. How about boats? Whoops, wrong button. Sorry for that. How about boats? Does it hit boats? Nope, nope, not at all. The water doesn't even slow it down. It just keeps going. I don't know why I'm trying all this. I just thought it'd be interesting to know. How about this uh, big old uh, banner right here? Ouch! Oh, the wrong button again. See, it's been too long since I played. I keep hitting the wrong button. I don't know what I'm doing. How about going on the docks? It has a road, so it should work. Yep, that works. Right, anyways, next up was what I was saying before. Something like this. Right over the track. No problem. It's that good. Uh, I don't know. What else can we run into? Bleachers usually don't seem to work. Let's see if these ones do. Oh, those ones do. Neat. It is really random, though, because other bleachers I've seen do not. Let me uh, go over here. I believe these ones are the ones I tried before, and they just you go right through and watch. 
See? It's random, man. So yeah, I um I don't know what to think about this map yet. Uh if it's all cleaned up, it'd be a really nice map. If it doesn't get cleaned up, eh, it's alright. Yeah, you know, it's alright. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. How about that building? That one that might actually hit. Nope. Yeah, what's that? There's a piece of my car. Oh, my tire! Oh, no. It's bouncing a lot. I like those physics. Nice and fun to watch. What is this? It's a fancy looking building. I wonder what it's used for in real life. I should look that up. Anyways, that is the map that you can crash into, and that's a good thing because that's actually on the map. And I bet if we reset right here, it might be interesting to do this. Sometimes those fences are interesting. Nope, no it's not. Some of them I did some things where it was weird. The way it hit my car was just fun. Kind of like that. Kind of sucks up the car sometimes. You see that? How that front end kind of got sucked forward, it seems like almost. I don't know, it's weird. Looks like I pulled it. I don't know. It's one of those weird things I can kind of duplicate, but I can't really. It seems to happen randomly. See? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. How my lights? Do they still pop up? Oh, no, they can't pop up. Wait, they're trying. Well, oh, poor lights. All right. So that is the Monaco Grand Prix circuit for uh, Beam and G Drive. Let's try this one, too, and we'll be done. So, oh, that one works. That's a weird road. I wonder what this is really connects to. Does it actually have its connection shown or no? Huh. Actually, it looks like an interesting road to drive up. We got to try this. So let's see, let's say let's say we somehow managed to get by that car. I did the effort to do it somehow. I don't know if you could actually get by him. But that's not important. Oh, okay, fine. Could you fit by him? Probably not this car. Maybe if you have a smaller car, like the uh the little hatchback thing, that might fit. Anyways, I wanna drive this thing. It looks funny. Because it looks like it'll just crush your roof to bits. So obviously it's not realistic. My tire is broken. Or I'm not. Something's not right because this thing is not turning well at all. Something's broken. I'm trying to smash into that van. Oh goodness, this is not anything like I thought it would be! Haha! <laughs> just fell off the edge of the world. Man, this camera is not helping me one bit. The interior view of the hood camera just for a bit. Alright, so let's set a reset right here. I have one curiosity. What is down here? Oh. Land upright? Yes. Nothing, really. Just mystery. Oh, there's water. That's realistic. You're not supposed to be here anyways. Doesn't stop me. Where do you go, road? Well, that's interesting. Monaco's a crazy city. Or, Monte Carlo's a crazy city. Look at that. Look at where my car is parked. That's a perfect uh, ending, I think. So, till next time. This is YBR. I'll see ya. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this. Um, there is a posted fix, supposedly, for the mesh cur- It's, uh, like, has to do with enabling mesh curling or something along those lines. Um, just so you know, I did try that, and I was actually recording the video with that, and it didn't seem to help me personally. It seems like it helped everybody else, but it didn't help me. For FPS, uh, I just thought I'd mention that, because, you know, Yeah, I don't know. I figured it might- Somebody might mention it, and I'll- might as well get over the fact about it first off and say, you know, I tried that, it did not work. Also, supposedly there was like an invisible wall right around here, right? 
I saw somebody post. I can't hit it. I, mean, I don't know where it is. They said there's an invisible wall right around here, and I don't seem to be able to find it. I don't know. A couple of weird things about this map. Seems like my version is different or something. But it's not. It's not. Unless maybe it's a tall thing. Maybe I need a tall vehicle. I'll try it out. This car is pretty low. What are we gonna use? What are we gonna use? Something tall. Something big. I don't know. Ah, uh, just H series, D series, H series. Which one? H series. H series. Yes, I think. Ouch. get a big old box thing. So if there's something to collide into, I'll find it. I'm not getting that in here. Yeah, well. Uh, I just wanted to point out about that. It did work for me about the mesh thing, and then I thought about this too. So, yeah. Like I said, until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.